My name's Emma Cowley. I'm a lecturer at the University of Plymouth um, in podiatry. Uh, I've got a special interest in musculoskeletal conditions. So these are conditions of the joints and the muscles and, and uh, bones of the body. Um, so I practice clinically and I'm also an active researcher and I teach. I've been doing it for 25 years. Is there a right or a wrong arch height? I think is another <laughs> question I get asked an awful lot. Um, and again, the answer unfortunately is sometimes. And the reason being that um, if you have a foot shape that is um, maybe say quite highly arched, but you're a desk worker, that foot doesn't really ever endure many forces that are ever gonna create problems, any pain or anything like, anything like that. So in terms of, um, if it's just your family again, you have a highly arched foot um, because your mum and dad did as well, then that's just you and the chances are it won't be a problem. So it's not a wrong shape to have. It can sometimes be a little bit troublesome to find shoes in, in shops um, because the shoemakers obviously try to go to a, an average foot shape. And if you've got a slightly non-standard shaped foot, then you might find that that's a bit trickier, but you get there with adjustable fastenings and that kind of thing. The thing to note always with foot shape is, is it static or is it changing? If you've always had a high arch, it's never changed, it's always the same, then you're probably going to be okay. If you've got a very low arch, but you've always had a low arch, again, the same is true. And the same with the, the Goldilocks zone in the middle where everything's kind of normal. As long as nothing's changing, probably things are okay. There is a condition that affects some of the muscles down the outside of the leg, as well as sometimes the muscles on the front of the leg. Um, for those of you that might know about this, it's called Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease. Um, and that's a neurological condition, which over time it weakens these muscles and the arch actually rises over time. So that's a change. That would be something to alert somebody about because ultimately you could develop weak ankles that could end up um, becoming susceptible to sprains in the workplace. It's not something that would be um, likely to cause significant damage, but obviously a fall in the workplace is not going to be ideal for anybody. And there's, it's easily offset, the risk is easily offset by maybe wearing boots that come at higher than the ankle as well. So again, it always comes down to the so what, is it stopping you, is it changing, is there any cause for concern here? Uh, I think where you have had pain for longer than three months, if anything's changing, or if you're noticing that there's pain suddenly that's arriving that you didn't have before, um, that isn't going away, then I would probably seek out an appointment with somebody who can help. If you're just suffering with uh, tired feet, like so many of us do at the end of a long day, you probably get away with a shop-bought insole or something out of a shoe um, that's been sort of built into some work footwear, work boots, that kind of thing, and you'd be absolutely fine. They would really help you.